Normalizing one's state of mind might not be a very normal thing to do. I learned it the hard way. March 2023 could be the weirdest, saddest, yet the most beautiful month in my life. It was the first time I experienced death on a journey. Because most of the time, we don't even realize that we're experiencing the traumatic events, let alone have the ability to surf through it like a pro. So, it is normal that we're screwed up. There are two kinds of waves. There's the clean soap one for the starters, and there's the giant barrel pipe for the pros. And whether you can ride on it or instead get drowned in the washing machine depends a lot on your surfing skills. And it's not a skill one can acquire overnight. Trust me, I have tried my all and Poseidon just hasn't approved. I think dealing with traumatic events is just the same. Whether or not we can handle it well depends a lot on our skills at navigating our state of mind. We have to start normalizing our own state of mind before we're eventually able to navigate it. Start normalizing that if you feel sad, lonely, hurting, scared, and angry, it doesn't make us less human. Instead, it is us embracing our true nature as a vulnerable creature. One day, I woke up and cried all of a sudden. The scene just replaying itself in my mind. I calmed myself with yoga, meditation, breathwork practice, and journaling. Just all of the tools that have been useful every time. At this time, it was beyond my control to stop myself from playing the what ifs. What if I was better? What if I could have been more useful? What if I tried harder and quicker and, and such and such? I couldn't help but blame myself for what happened. Even logically, I understood that it was beyond my capability to ever mess with life and death. It was beyond anyone's, but I also knew that everybody was struggling too. So, like everyone else, I was just trying my best given what I knew best at the moment. I let logic take the driver's seat and I put my feelings behind. Little did I know that it could end up as a time bomb. And in my case, it did. I didn't know how to deal with my feelings, but what's worse is that I didn't know what these feelings were. I felt really awful about myself, scared and isolated from the world. I had no idea what to do and the confusion was unbearable to the point where I decided that I needed the help that I never thought I would ever need before. I needed professional help. As a travel storyteller, my lifestyle is very remote. I could be in Selayar, learning how to do spare fishing with the bajo, or I could be in Mentawai and learning how to live my life with the tribe. Or I could be in Borneo, because it's my home. So, I need the help that is accessible wherever and whenever I need it.
My journey with Psyche Indonesia has enlightened me that it is okay to feel the way you feel and it is okay to seek for professional help. Allowing myself to embrace the complicated state of mind I can have as a human being. Experiencing weird, uncomfortable feelings doesn't make me be less human. Instead, it is allowing me to embrace my true nature as a human itself. Human feels, human wonders, human accepts, and human forgets. That is why we're such vulnerable creatures. I used to believe that if we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, only then we will be able to experience beautiful things in life. So it is all started with normalizing your state of mind. When you start to normalize your state of mind, you start to accept yourself and just see how beautiful it is to be a fragile being. Normalize it, because only then we can improve our mental state. It's to improve, it's to heal. It doesn't mean the damage never existed. It is just no longer controls our lives. <laughs>